OK, in this video we're going to have a look at converting numbers into standard form. Now, here's an example of what standard form looks like. And the two conditions for a number being standard form is there's a number between 1 and 10, well we've got 4.73 here, and there's a power of 10, so 10 to the power 5 here. Now let's have a look at how we get numbers into this format. So I've got here a number, um, well that's 49,210,000, and I want to write that into standard form. Now the first thing I recommend you do is put in a decimal point if there isn't one, and that's where it would live in this question, right at the end there. Now we need, for it to be standard form, a number between 1 and 10. And this decimal point is going to have to move, so it is between the 4 and 9, that then makes this number between 1 and 10. It makes it 4 point something. Okay? Now, the question we need to ask ourselves is how many decimal places, uh, how many places has this moved to get between, from there to between the 4 and 9? So it's gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places to get from there to there. And that's the key to writing this in standard form. We take this number that's now between 1 and 10, 4.921. We don't need the extra zeros because we're after a decimal point. We then put the time sign in, like we had in the example here. And it's to the 10 to the power something, and the power is going to be the number of jumps that we've had. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7... So it's 10 to the power 7. So this number we have here, this 49,210,000, is in standard form 4.921 times 10 to the power 7. Let's have a look at another example here. So here I've got 253,000. So, first things first, put the decimal point in. And I want it to be between the 2 and the 5 to make it between a number between 1 and 10. Now, how many jumps has that been? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 jumps. So it's 2.53, ignoring the rest of the zeros, times 10 to the power of 5. Let's have a look at another number here, because we can use standard form on really small numbers. Now, here we've got a decimal point in for us already. We've got 0.000268. Now, to make this number between 1 and 10, the decimal point would have to go here between the 2 and the 6. How many jumps has that done? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 jumps. So we're going to put down 2.68 times 10 with the 5. However, if we look at the previous example, a 5 meant the decimal point moved that way. The decimal point's gone that way this time. And to show that it goes that way, we put in a, a minus sign. OK? That's how we convert numbers to standard form. We need a number between 1 and 10, and there to be a power of 10. 